Reflective writing is a common assignment type that will be extremely beneficial to your learning. Let's just take a few minutes to see what reflective writing is all about. A reflective essay gives you the opportunity to clarify your understanding as you think about what you are learning. Sometimes this can be the process and mistakes and successes you have had along the way. The actual process of reflection helps you become a more active and aware learner and it certainly will ensure you become a reflective practitioner once you graduate and begin your professional life. The great thing about reflective writing is that you get to make sense of the theory you are studying by applying your own experiences and observations, whether that be mapping the progress and changes in your thinking about the subject you're learning, considering the learning journey you're undertaking and assessing what you've learnt as well as how you've learnt it. Reflective writing gets you to question your own thoughts and understandings and focus on things like what have you learnt from the process, what do you know now that you didn't know before, what insights have you gained? What perceived strengths and weaknesses have you observed? What were the challenges you encountered and how well were they handled? What could you do better next time and with what anticipated results? And what theory proved to be useful and why? And what have you learnt from this? So there is a specific writing style for reflective essays that allows you to use both first and third person. First person such as I, me or we when you're talking about your own personal experiences and observations or opinions and third person when referring to theories and research. You will write using both past and present tense. When writing about your own personal reflections and experiences you use past tense and when linking the information to theory, use present tense because the theories and ideas you're referring to are still current and the text and sources still exist. Here is an example of a paragraph of reflective writing on an aspect of counselling. Pause this video now and have a read. Note how this paragraph discusses expert observations and explanations of the topic using a couple of reference sources. But it also explains, using reasoning, how the student can personally relate to the theory and then uses expert explanations to back that up. For more resources on reflective writing and other assignment types, check out the Student Learning Support website.